I wonder if anyone's ever done any um, epigenetic clocks on people on the carnivore diet. I think as far as polyphenols go in the standard diet that I see most people eating, I mean, there's very few polyphenols in people's diets. Yeah. And I mean, you you have certain people doing things like the carnivore diet that are getting zero polyphenols. I know. And so there might be... In the long term, you know, the long term outcome of, of a carnivore dietary pattern, I just, you know, I think it's unsustainable. And I think to your point, you know, there's, you're going to really aggressively change the microbiome. And so the microbiome is acting on those polyphenols sure. and producing all these postbiotic compounds mm -hmm. that are just wonderkins. Yeah. You know, they're just doing all sorts of extraordinary, important work in the body. Yeah. And you won't get those and you'll get a die off on the bacteria that are actually producing them. And, you know, the whole ratio will change. So I think for the long term, you know, we're looking at a difficulty with that when their microbiome has radically changed. And my guess is that we might be seeing, you know, it creeping forward and we're going to see micronutrient deficiencies and all sorts of stuff.